Hi friends, it's Peter Minter here. Welcome back to our Learn How to Drum series. So we've already covered uh, simple hand drum rhythms, uh, different drum pitches, uh, the bass line of a drum circle and a percussion ensemble, plus how to tune your drum. So in today's video, we're going to look at uh, three ways that you can develop your rhythmical skills and take your playing to the next level. Let's go and check it out. When you're building your rhythmical skills, take a look at percussion, how to play percussion and the percussion sounds. You'll get a lot of rhythmical ideas from percussion. So what do I mean by percussion? I'm talking about wood sounds, shaker sounds and bell sounds. I've facilitated lots of community and corporate rhythm events and often I'll hear some participants say, oh, I, I, I've played percussion when I was in primary school. And so the, I see the eyes roll and it's like, mm, okay, so maybe they haven't had a good experience with playing percussion. But percussion helps develop your musical awareness. In many culturally specific uh, music, it's the percussion that's the glue of the music that holds all the other rhythms together. So they form the foundation of the music. They dictate the direction, the arrangement, the solos, where the solos are. So percussion plays a very important part when it comes to learning rhythms. So there's literally thousands of percussion instruments that you can explore. And so what we're going to do for this video, we're going to look at the three timbres within a drum circle or a drumming ensemble, which are wood sounds, shaker sounds and bell sounds. And let's have a look at um, the variety of sounds within that timbre. Plus, I'll do a play along as well. So put three rhythms together with the three timbres. And so where you can play along either with your drum or with another percussion instrument. So let's go and check it out now. Okay, so now let's go and have a look at the bell rhythm played on a low pitch drum and the wood rhythm played on a high pitch drum. Shaker is going to stay the same. Okay, so listening to music and developing your musical ear. This can be overlooked quite easily when developing your rhythmical skills. So what do I mean by uh, developing your ear? I remember when I first started out uh, playing in bands and I was playing a variety of um, uh, styles back then. 
um, so from a nine-piece Latin band to a 12-piece blues band. And so there was a lot of music to learn. A lot of the music that we were playing were covers. So um, I would need to learn all the drum parts to all the songs. So I'm nice and prepared for rehearsal. So uh, I would take an afternoon and listen to the, the new songs that we, uh, we had chosen. And so I would sit down and listen to the drum parts. And of course, there's quite a few drum parts to a song. There's the intro, the verse, the chorus, maybe a bridge, and then an outro. So most of the, of the times, uh, the, the rhythms would change. And so I began to develop my ear a lot better. When playing music, I could pick up on rhythms really quickly because I, my ear had, um, had developed. So how do you develop your ear? One, choose uh, music that really inspires you, that you love to listen to. And then find a place or a space that's nice and quiet. It could be in your home, a room in your home. It may be um, part of the garden or a, a park. As long as there's no distractions, so you can focus on listening to the music. Three, allocate some time to listen to the music. So deeply listen to the music. So there are a few ways that we can listen to music. Uh, it could be driving in your car on the radio. Uh, it could be traveling on a train and you've got your iPod or your iPhone with you. Um, so what's happening is there is that you've got other distractions around. And so your um, awareness of just the music on its own is dulled because you need to be aware of other things around you. So deep listening. Uh, requires uh, some patience and time away from other distractions. So when you're listening to your favorite song, listen to the the timbres, the, the pitch, the sounds of if there's any percussion instruments or drums in there. So listen for those sounds. How to do this is gradually pick up on maybe identifying the pitches. So you might be able to hear um, a tambourine, for example. So you've got, great, that sounds like a tambourine. Good, okay. Now, what is the rhythm of the tambourine? Listen deeply. And how to do this is filter out the music. Filter out and bring forth the tambourine in your mind. So listen deeply to just the tambourine and just filter out the other sounds. So it's kind of like a bit of a producer now. So you're um, producing the song, what you want to hear. And this is where the deep listening starts to, um, to, to develop and your ear starts to um, develop as well. So, for example, listening to the tambourine. Okay, now focus on the rhythm. What does it sound like? Maybe tap it out on your leg or clap it or something like that. So you've got your tambourine part. Okay, so move on to other drum pitches. What's the bass playing? What's the, what, what's the hand drum playing? So once you've, once again, filter out those other sounds and just focus on uh, the sound that you want to learn. So I've noticed um, uh, while developing my ear that there are certain instruments that tend to play certain rhythms. So once you've picked up on uh, the instruments, you'll be able to pick up on the rhythms quite easily and quickly. And so for example, you might be playing with some friends and so you, you can grab a tambourine, you know the rhythm to play. You don't have to think about it. You kind of like go, yeah, I know this rhythm. I know the role that the percussion plays. I know the role of the drummer. So, um, so we've already spoken about the percussion pieces. So start to develop and put that into your own music making. So when you're deeply listening to music, it actually starts to become a meditation. And of course, I, I feel that uh, music and meditation are so closely related. So you're actually completely in the moment. 
Okay, the next thing is play along to music. Yeah, I can't stress this enough. So um, any chance you have, um, put on a CD or go to my YouTube channel, check out some videos that I have where you can play along uh, with me. And so you can really start to develop or to begin to develop your rhythmical skills. So uh, learn more percussion uh, instruments. Uh, therefore, you're going to learn more uh, rhythms. You're going to allocate time for yourself to develop your listening on a deeper scale, developing your, your musical ear. And third is to play along to music. So all these uh, tips will help you to develop more rhythmical skills. Now a little gift for you as you continue to build your djembe drumming skills. So I wanted to help you out as much as I could. So I've added some great African drumming rhythms for djembe and ensemble drums that accompany the djembe called Seven Easy Steps to Develop Rhythm, Technique, Timing and Feel in an ebook. So it's filled with lots of tips on technique and how to improve your timing and feel to really take your playing to the next level. This is my gift to you and something that can accompany you on your drumming journey. You can grab your copy for absolutely free. Just go to positivemusic.com.au forward slash free djembe drumming and download it right there and then. So if you already know lots of djembe rhythms, there are so many dun, sangban and kenkini rhythms in this ebook that accompany the djembe. So it's also building your musical skills as well. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing to these videos. So I'll see you in the next video in this series. Thank you and see you soon.